What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. We've learned our languages through the World Wide Web. Ah, right, listen. What's good, everybody? Welcome back. Check it out. Got an article for you. You know, as I go across uh, my numerous social media outlets, okay? Social media outlets. This is where the Recruiter Call Channel finds different topics, uh, different videos to react to, and different posts to comment on, right? This is what we do. We, we, don't, we, we don't use social media like, like, for example. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. People get on TikTok because they say they be entertained. They just scroll, 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 and, and lo and behold, you know that you've been on there for like two, three hours. Just scrolling through the through the sea of garbage that's on TikTok. Maybe you will see one, maybe two interesting TikToks. You know, somebody probably might be doing a... Uh, a TikTok challenge, and they probably use cap cut to cut the little bit of pieces together to make a a three minute interesting video. I get it, but you know, after you 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 drown yourself into that, next thing you know, half the day is gone. Half the day is gone. I mean. Live feeds of people just sleeping. <laughs> I don't understand that. Help me understand that. I mean, that's what the For You page is. It's, it's just constant bullshit that you keep scrolling. Now, for me, I don't jump on there for entertainment. I, I jump on TikTok for content. I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you. I'm not BSing. I'm I'm here to tell you. I'm I'm on TikTok for content. I'm in Facebook groups for interesting questions, interesting topics, interesting stories. I'm on YouTube because I'm a YouTuber. That's different. I'm going to always be a YouTuber. Everything from, from movie, clips, anything you want to know, how-tos, everything is on YouTube. So I am going to be on YouTube. YouTube is going to be my, my, my tool, my entertainment, my, my content creator area. That's YouTube. But everywhere else in social media i.e. Facebook groups, IG, TikTok. That's where I find content, okay? That's where I find these interesting videos, these interesting TikToks, interesting posts, interesting topics, interesting stories. That's where I find them at. I find them over there. Okay, now let me explain something to you guys, okay, so that you understand. Because I, I, I literally had a back and forth because of a post that was posted in the She Trucking Trucking group. Now, as you guys know, the post was uh, my boss wanted me to drive at night. Unfortunately, this uh, person, we still going to keep them anonymous. This person was abandoned. Let me, let me make this perfectly clear. Was abandoned at a truck stop, putting not only her life and her safety at risk. I found the story on the she trucking trucking group i reached out to the to the person so that i can bring them on to the podcast 
and we can have a dialogue. That dialogue did not happen. Uh, at first, that person was was interested. We had a back and forth. Again, we had a dialogue in the background. And unfortunately, after I sent them my podcast release, that you have to sign in order for me, in order for you to be a guest and I can record our conversation. Cream? No, thank you. I take it black. Like my man. By you signed in the podcast release, it's also a legal thing too, all right? Now, with that aside, they did. They decided that they didn't want to uh, sign it because they they was in the midst of they they going to try to go into a midst of trying to uh, I, I don't know try to get some legality out of their situation. All right. So, being that the post is posted in the public form it is open for reactions okay meaning it was shared many times over comments about 100 and plus comments and about maybe about 50 about 50 40 90 likes whatever whatever okay so unfortunately after I reacted to it and and pretty much you know commentaried on it, I get a I get a a a a, a comment a comment thread started with the with, with the person's daughter or at least that's what they claim to be, saying that I need to take it down. They didn't give me permission. This, that, and the third. I put her life in, I put her safety on the line and everything. And that's, that's, that's not the case. See, I don't know if, if that so-called daughter went back and talked to that person about me reaching out to them. I don't know if that was, if that ever came across because she over here trying to paint a narrative that she didn't give me permission to uh, talk about the post. Okay, well, when I'm doing a reaction to a public forum, uh, you, you don't need permission. You, you don't need, I, do I need permission to talk about the situation that you put out there? So in other words, let me get this straight. Because she said that she came, not only that her daughter, but I had a back, a back and forth in the she trucking trucking group with said person. And they over here talking about, well, I put it in a female trucking group. Okay, well, that female trucking group is on Facebook, and Facebook is considered social media, the internet. So basically, you put the information out on the internet, regardless if it was Facebook, TikTok, IG, YouTube, or whatever. See, the thing is, they over here talking about that I put their uh, location out there. Okay, I, how would I put that location out there if the if you didn't give that location in the first place? You gave the location to where you was at. Now let me stop right here. Let let me stop. Let me stop right here and pull it back. See, I wasn't getting all of this energy when I reached out to this person. I mean, this person was open and honest and all like that. And side note. Everybody in the She Trucking Trucking group that knows my legal name, they know that the recruiter call channel backslash the Lockout Man podcast is a guy. I've been I've been in and for the daughter or whatever, 
You think it's weird? What I tell you what, I'm not the only man that's in the C Chucking Trucking Group. Hi, um, my name is Peter Parker, and I would like a coffee, please. Okay, no problem, Peter Parker. And there's a couple of other men in the She Trucking Trucking Group. I was the inaugural man that was brought in to the She Trucking Trucking Group, courtesy of Miss Sheree Moore. Sheree Moore can vouch for the lockout men backslash recruiter call channel. We're all about the drivers. A lot. Let, let me also side note, majority of the content that's, that's on the recruiter call channel and some beautiful, beautiful conversations have, have came from the She Trucking Trucking Group. Okay? I always big up the She Trucking Trucking Group. You do realize that the She Trucking Trucking Group on Facebook, which is a social media, is has more than 25k uh 25k members in there. It's the largest female trucking group on Facebook. Let me just throw that out there, okay? See, the thing is, you posted it in a female's trucking group, okay? You posted it in a female's trucking group. It was an interesting story. But see, what you're not putting the energy on is the fact that you, is the fact that you put your location out there to let everybody know where you was at. And number two, the fact that the, the, the so-called trainer, y'all, abandoned this person. This person can't even drive the truck. They have a CDL permit. What? A CDL permit. That's all this person has. Meaning that you need a CDL a driver in the truck in order for you to drive the truck. That tr so-called trainer uprooted and bounced which put your safety in jeopardy. Not, not, the, not the podcaster that was interested in your story, so much so wanted to get it out because you're not the only one that experienced situations like this. Check my resume. I talked to men and women that has been effed by their company. Now, I'm not sure the situation now, you know, if you're going to stick it out with that company, I know I wouldn't. I, I, I know I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Better yet, you did mention something to me in the Facebook group, and you said, hey, what if it was your daughter? Well, let me answer that. Because I have a son. I don't have a daughter. Well, I got a, I got a daughter-in-law. But let me just answer that. Number one, my daughter would not be in that situation. Period. My daughter would have called me up and say, hey, dad, uh, dude left me here in Timbuktu. Now, you know what dad going to do? Dad is going to get her home. Dad is going to get her to a hotel. She ain't going to stay in no truck. She ain't going to stay in no, no uh, uh, truck stop. No. Dad is going to get her Uber or cash app or, well, if, they, if, if, if it was me, they would be on the, on, on the, on the banking account. So they would... I would sell them the money that they need for an Uber and for a hotel. They ain't going to be in no truck waiting for an owner op that told you to go ahead and drive at night. He 
ain't going to do that. This dad right here is not going to do that. This dad right here is going to get his daughter from Timbuktu back home. And then we'll just let dude or owner op worry about how to get his truck. Now, you, you mentioned something about, you know, taking this to court. I, I don't know if you can take this to court. I, I don't know. I mean, I heard plenty of drivers that was getting effed and they reached out to a lawyer and, and the lawyer, you know, kind of told them that it wasn't nothing that they can do in that situation. I don't know. But what I'm saying is, and this is the problem that I'm trying to get through to all drivers, because it seems as though y'all y'all get tricked into coming into this industry and y'all just think it's all lavish and everything. But when y'all get in the situation, y'all don't know how to get out of it. This is where Lockout Men and the Recruiter Call Channel comes into play. You need advice or in certain situations, the phone number's right there. Better yet, you could have called me. The phone number is right there. As well as you could have called me instead of having a back and forth in the She Trucking Trucking group. Shout out to the She Trucking Trucking group. You could have called me in the background and we could have had a dialogue about that. But no, I, as, I, as I asked in the group, where's all this energy coming from? Because when I reached out to you behind the scenes, you was interested. But until I told you you had to sign off on the podcast, then you change your mind because I guess you still with the company. Now, again, let me bring it back a little bit. If that was my daughter, as you said, my daughter would not be with that company. Hell no. As I told you in the background, there was plenty of red flags in this, man. Dude left you uprooted, abandoned, not only the truck, but a whole human being in the truck. You get on the phone, you called, you, you called your, your, your owner op or the boss man, and instead of him telling you or getting you somewhere safe, i.e. a hotel or something like that, his idea was, hey, drive that truck at night to get it back down to wherever it was you supposed to get it down to. Dude setting you up for failure and you don't even have your license yet. But yet you coming with the energy to the podcast guy because the podcast guy shared your story to, to, to drivers that may have went through the same thing. I don't get it. And let me make this absolutely clear, little lady, or if that's who you was in the comment session, there's no clout chasing over here. If you put something out there, you can't get mad if somebody reacts to it or talk about it. God damn, Jimmy, this some serious gourmet shit. Me and Vincent would have been satisfied with some freeze-dried tasteless choice, right? <laughs> and he brings this serious gourmet shit on us. What flavor is this? Knock it off, Chewy. Now, behind the scenes, again, I did reach out to you and I did say, hey, I already made a reaction to the video, but I would really would love to have you on so we can have a dialogue because Whoever that was in the comment session, I don't know if that was your daughter or not, don't know, okay? But she gonna turn around and say, well, I didn't try to get the story out there by, by, by pretending to be a woman. Everybody in the she trucking trucking group knows that I'm a guy. I've been posting in the she trucking trucking group for the last five years. That's, guys, that's how long. Remember, remember me and Sheree Moore's 
uh, podcast that we had together. And on that very podcast, I asked Sheree, I was like, you know what, Sheree? I said, I've been, I've been rocking with you for all these years and all like that. I said, let me in the She Trucking Trucking group. I asked her right in that podcast, go back. It's on it. Go back. Check my resume. And what she did, she made me the inaugural guy to come up into the group. Everybody in the group. Now, you must be new. You, you must be new. You must you must have just got here because the way you're talking, you're but well, yeah, yeah, you are new. You are new. You 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 just got your CDL permit. You just found the women's group because wait, let me stop. The she trucking trucking group is not the only female trucking group that I'm a part of. Okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Shout out to the other female groups that I am a part of. But I'm also a part of white trucking groups. I'm a part of bonehead trucking trucking group, RTI trucking group. I'm a part of all uh, black trucking groups, white trucking groups. I'm a part of a lot of trucking groups. That's how I get my content. People come up in there and they ask questions all the time. So instead of try to answer a question in the sea of, of people that's over here giving bullshit answers or or bullshit advice, I make a I, I make an episode out of it. Because that same question that be asked over and over and over again by different people, I know that everybody is asking that same question. So when I answer it, it will go out over the podcast and everybody that's looking for that answer could find it right here on the Recruiter Call channel. Now, look, I, I don't want to make this, this long, tedious, or anything like that. But what I'm what I, what I am saying is if I see something if I see something of interest I do make it a point to try to reach out to whoever made a post, whoever made a video or whatever. I already made my reaction to it. So when I put in the post because it is in the post hey Share your story on the Recruiter Call channel via the Lockout Man podcast show. And you can email me at this email or you can DM me here. I do try to reach out. I do try to have a dialogue. Some people are just funny and I get it. I get it. I understand it. It's cool, but you got to understand something. If you put something out there on the internet, just know that people is going to conversate about it. People is going to talk about it. People is going to share that. It's not just going to stay in one particular area. No, it's going to go throughout the whole internet. Next thing you know, it probably might, somebody else probably might make a TikTok on it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry for your situation because now I got to question it because there was another young lady that was in the She Trucking Trucking group that claimed the same thing that she was uh, abandoned. She didn't know what to do, and she came into the group asking for cash apps. Come to find out, one of the She Trucking members reached out to me, reached out to me, and come to find out that this particular person was a scammer. Now, I'm not saying that you're scamming because you sure didn't put your cash app out there, but I, I don't know. The vibe now is like you you putting the energy, <laughs> you you diverting the energy to the wrong thing. The energy should be diverted to that company. 
and that and and that so-called trainer that abandoned you in the first place. Again, putting your safety at risk. And then and then your boss man going to further put your safety at risk by asking you to drive the truck unlicensed. So again, I don't understand where the energy came from. Because myself and everybody else in the She Trucking Trucking group is all on your side. So I don't understand where the animosity or the or the or the negative energy came from. You need to direct that energy back to the company that effed you over. And again, if it was my daughter, no. Before we get out of here, drivers, new drivers, again, this is what I need you to do. It's called the Lockout Men Essentials, okay? Back, go bag, backpack, femin feminine pack, and a credit card. And at least, at least $300, maximum $500. So whenever you get in that type of situation, you won't have to worry about being in a rock in a hard place. There's something in the air tonight Got a feeling coming over me I swear that this is that place to be In the water, in the, the water